Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making some nitric acid with lightning. Well, not, not really lightning, but high voltage, a high voltage arc. So what lightning does is it goes through the air, it ionizes all the particles, and they get really mad. So they move around a lot, and eventually they recombine with each other, and you get some that don't really combine back into oxygen and nitrogen and some of the other gases in the air. Instead, you'll get a little bit of ozone and some nitrogen dioxide. It's not a lot, definitely not a lot, but if I can get a high voltage arc with this neon power supply right here that I got, I can use that just straight power and I can make nitric acid out of air. That's kind of awesome. So I'm gonna be doing that. We're gonna get this Fill up about 80 milliliters of water in here, and then we're gonna set up the whole apparatus, and then we're gonna turn it on. So, I will be doing that. So, before I get everything set up, I should probably go through what this is and how it works. So, I think I'm pronouncing this right, but what they did with this, it's it's called a Birkeland Eye Generator, I think. They used it to make nitric acid a lot before they got their new process. I forgot what it's called, but they use platinum for it. Um, what this is right now is I have two wires in this sealed jar that I have screwed down on a piece of wood. This is very jank. Please do not try and build something like this. I burned down the last two that I made. So I put some clay in there to hopefully help it not do that. But here's what it looks like from the bottom. I have input hole for air, output hole for air, and my nitrous nitrogen oxide products. These are the holes I drew, drilled for the wires. I have to come in out, put some tape and some wax in there to help seal them. So this is my chamber and we'd be setting it up here for support on these two jars. I have my air from my very destroyed pump and I have my bubble stone. Put that together. Now that this thing is assembled, it looks a lot more interesting well not really but yeah okay we got air please don't fall over okay good got air and we got our bubble stone and our water i have it in here just in case it bubbles over it's very annoying to have your acid solution spill everywhere okay so there is our bubble stone. That's fixed now. So this should all be set up now. I just need to give it my power. I have my outputs from my high voltage. Going to some alligator clips. Now I just need to put these guys on my wires. All right, there's one. Here's the other one. Okay, that one's all set. So now that everything's put together, I should be able to just turn it on. And I think we're gonna just do that for now, just to take a look at how it behaves. Perfect. So right here, we have our little sustained arc. It's gonna get kind of hot. I'll make sure to put some like aluminum stuff on top here to kind of be a bootleg heat sink maybe put some wet paper towels on it or something uh, i need a better way of cooling this but here is our arc now let's turn that off for now okay i'm gonna put my pump together and hopefully get this running okay i'm gonna probably run this for a arbitrary amount of time I'll note down how long it runs and see if I can figure out how much nitric acid it makes per hour. Definitely not gonna be good, but it's gonna be some, some way passable, I believe. All right, come on. My pump is not happy. Please. There we go. That's annoying.
Well, let's see, let's figure out our problem. All right, there was a leak, so I put a lot more hot glue on it, and now it should be properly sealed. So I'm going to start it up and see if everything runs right. All right, so it is very loud. My pump is not happy, does not like five volts very much, but um, we should be working. So now I just gotta start a timer. I'm gonna be running this on and off for a couple days and we're gonna come back and see how much acid we got by the end. Or I'll come back in the middle in case something goes wrong or something interesting happens. We will see. All right, so over two days, I have run this thing for 10 hours. It has melted down my electrodes a little bit. Kinda cool, but um, it should be pretty, well not pretty acidic, but it should be acidic now. And I'm going to stop this, run a distillation in my solution, distill it down into my nitric acid. That's gonna be azeotropic nitric acid, so it's not completely pure. Uh, we're gonna do some math with that, and then we're gonna figure out how much nitric acid per hour this produces. But, and with that, let us end our run. We're gonna leave the pump going for a little bit just so it can get all the air in here to bubble through. Don't wanna lose any. And yeah, looking good. Here is my distillation all set up. Um, I'm just gonna let it run through and then I will be back when I'm finished. All right, here we are after I have distilled everything. This is not completely azeotropic nitric acid there's probably a still a bit of water in here so i don't know exactly what what concentration it'd be but i have about a little under four milliliters of it from a 10 hour run so let's see what a ph strip thinks of it All right, there we go, got some. Very acidic. All right, good. Very good. So, I'm gonna note this down, and then I'm gonna do some calculations, and I will come back with how much nitric acid my setup will make per hour. Here is my super dirty piece of paper with some numbers on it. This is the amount of solution I had at the beginning after the end of the run. This is what I estimated, how much is in here right now, around 3.3 milliliters. And I'm guessing it's around 50% nitric acid because it's not completely azeotropic because I, it's hard to run it for that long and it's harder to get a better separation but um also i'm using pretty scuffed equipment here so i'm i'm just gonna estimate around 50 percent for this so that would leave me with around 1.65 grams of nitric acid at the end of this whole run that i did so let me work some more math all right if i'm going off of all these numbers i ran it for 10 hours and I ended up with 1.65 grams of pure nitric acid, allegedly. That would mean that I produced 0.165 grams of nitric acid per hour, which is definitely not great and could definitely be improved. But the fact that this works at all is kind of awesome. So, yeah, that has been me making nitric acid with electricity. Just straight electricity. Yeah. If you liked the video, consider leaving a comment. I like reading the comments. Um, if you want to tell me how much of a doofus I am for something I did wrong or how cursed my setup is, go ahead and do that too. And have a great day, people.